Big data tools are really great at this finding correlations in large amounts of data. And so while those correlations are really useful, very seldom are they the end answer you're looking for. In mining vehicles, as a good example, um, being able to watch over a whole fleet of mining trucks coming in and out of a mine and looking at where they're using um, the most energy in terms of the grading of the road, how much wear does it put on the vehicles, how do you balance wear versus uh, energy usage, how steep is it, both upward and downward, how clear is it. Looking at those, you can find correlations in the data where certain things are happening where you're using more energy, for instance, or you're providing, you're really wearing out your brakes in certain, certain areas. And taking those correlations, that's great that you see them, but then you have to find out what's the real root cause. And that's where working through the real-time data with more and more data experiments and different data sets actually can get you to where you find this is the root cause of the problem and where you can really save money as a company. There are so many analysis that if you don't ever get the data, you can't do an analysis on it. So capturing all the data at highest granularity, you need a system that does that. Time series databases do that better than any other system out there. In a Pi system, we also have the structure and the metadata around which asset is it for, or which set of assets, and what are the events that are happening. In a big data system, you kind of have to do that after the fact and do that um, data mining. And it may be very difficult to recreate all of that um, after the fact versus bringing it in from the source. We see, and what we see with a lot of customers is, big data tools are great, and they're great for these large volume analysis, but they don't replace the highly structured data of systems of record like the Pi system. The requirements around the data for real time are, there's a numerous requirements. The data isn't naturally time aligned. It's all coming in at different paces. You may have data that comes in every 10 milliseconds next to data comes in every 10 minutes. You really want to get the highest granularity that makes sense to be able to understand it. You don't want to miss readings because they may be important to your analysis. Being able to deal with um, data losses or uh, where communications fail and being able to have a system that recovers from, from that and make sure that there's minimal if no data loss. Making sure that the data gets proper timestamps and has proper quality. So you need to know when you can trust the data versus when the data maybe shouldn't be used for data analysis or uh, a piece of equipment needs to be calibrated or adjusted. So Pike really takes care of all that for people, really making sure that the real-time data, when you're ready to use it to make a decision, you can trust it, you know it's consistent, you know where the data um, came from, and that the, it's quality.